Hey chickies, okay today we are doing a feathers mani inspired by my iPhone 6 case. I bought it on eBay, it cost like $1.42 with no postage. It took forever to get here, like I don't know, probably six weeks, but then I suppose that's what happens when you pay $1.42 for an iPhone case and you don't pay any postage. <laughs> so anywho, I really hope you like it. Let's get into it. Now here's the case that I bought. I love it so much. It's not on my phone right now because I use my phone for filming. Uh, my phone is a gold iPhone 6, but I decided to use a rose gold polish from Fenug. It's called Beauty Editor. It's hard to see that it is rose gold in that shot, but it really is a really pretty rose gold. I love it so much. Now to paint the design for this one, I'm using matte black acrylic paint only. Uh, you can use polish if you want to. I just find that acrylic paint works so much better. Why would you use anything else? Seriously. The brush I'm using is the Nail Series 706 Short Liner from the Stylish Nail Art Shop. Uh, all the details about everything I use will be in the description box down below, as per usual. Now I'm starting off by painting basically the rope that the feathers will all be hanging off. Now uh, I know that not everybody has a big budget to buy nail art supplies and those sorts of things and I always put a link down in the description box down below for cheap nail art brushes on eBay. However, I do recommend that you at least spend some uh, a little bit more money. I think this brush was about nine dollars or something like that, so not terribly expensive. But um, to just spend a teensy bit more money on a good quality fine detail brush, you will not regret it. I promise you that. Uh, you can use them with polish, but obviously they're not going to last as long. Uh, that's why I only ever use my really good brushes for um, with acrylic paint, not with polish. But I do use my other cheaper brushes with polish, no problem at all. And they t tend to stand up to getting cleaned with acetone. So I just, yeah, I just would really like it. I just wanted to say that. I just thought it was important. So the, the, the feathers are just so easy. You've seen me do feathers a lot. And basically it's just a line with a lot of feathering lines on either side pointing down towards the tip of your nail. Now also uh, just to add a little bit more detail, I know this was not part of the, uh, the iPhone case but um, I decided to add these little, the little beads, um, it's almost like the end of a dream catcher. I don't know, I always try to bring it back to a dream catcher, <laughs> I love dream catchers very much. Once your design is completely dry you want to go ahead and protect it with a good quality top coat. I'm using Sesh Vite for this one. Now uh, I'm going to mattify this with a matte top coat as well but matte top coats tend to smudge acrylic paint so I always use Sesh Vite first. Then I'm coming in with Picture Polishes G'day Matte which is one of my favourite matte top coats and mattifying everything. And that's it. I really hope you liked this one. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye, chickies. Oh, and thank you for subscribing. And thanks for that delicious thumbs up. Bye.